So we're here on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, it's maybe about to rain, we don't know, but uh, we've got the Skydiggers here at the Capitol, and we've got... Josh Finlayson. Josh from uh, the Skydiggers. How are you doing today? I'm good, Sandy. How about you? Oh, pretty good. It's nice to meet you. Uh, i just kind of like to start out by getting to know how you guys got started, uh, and maybe for people who don't know you, describe the music that you guys make. Uh, we started uh, around 1988. Our first record came out in uh, about ni- well, 1990, May, uh, the spring of 1990, about 23 years ago now. Um, and at the time, our music was sort of referred to as roots music. It's now referred to as Americana music or Canadian, depending on your uh, preference. Um, and it's really in uh, the vein of uh, songwriting, uh, you know, from Woody Guthrie to Neil Young and Bob Dylan, the band, any of those uh, references would be, uh, and many others as well. So you guys have been a band for over 20 years now, um, and I've, I've listened to a lot of your records, and there sort of seems to be this, you seem to keep the same sound, but it seems to evolve. How do you guys maintain that? Uh, well, I think you sound the way you sound. Ultimately, and you can't change that. I think the, uh, I think, uh, for me, uh, evolving and uh, uh, adopting new influences or working with new people and uh, collaborating with people that sort of push your comfort zone and your boundaries is always. It, if you're going to continue to do it, you have to do that. You can't. In my opinion, you can't try and repeat yourself because then you're like, what's the point? Mm-hmm. And uh, after almost more, more than 20 years, what's the most important thing you've learned about being in a band? Uh, the most important thing, well, uh, you know, collaboration ultimately means compromise. And uh, so that's been a great lesson. And, uh, you know, managing expectation has been a good uh a good life lesson, ultimately. And uh, so you guys just put out a new record called Northern Shore. Yeah. Right. And uh, can you maybe talk to us about how that process uh, went about and, and what, what the challenges were and what you maybe did differently from the previous record? Okay, sure. Yeah. We Well, first off, we, we worked with a, uh, a producer, an English guy by the name of Sam Hashimi. He, uh, he's uh, an English uh, gentleman. Uh, we met. He lives in Toronto. Uh, now where we live, and uh, we had worked with him on a couple of different projects, Andy and I, and um, and we decided we were going to get him to produce the record. Um, and uh, he's a terrific engineer and a great producer, and he, he brought a lot to the table and assumed a lot of responsibility, and that was a good thing for a band. And when you've been together for a long time, it's uh, it's tough to. Uh, it's tough to be objective about what you do, and uh, and we were we were able to you know pass uh, on that responsibility to him. And we allowed him to make a lot of decisions that uh, would often uh, hold us back, or or they'd be uh, they'd be sort of obstacles that we would have a hard time getting past. Um, and we recorded the record in a few different ways. Andy, the singer, and I. One process was that we'd record, I'd play acoustic guitar, he'd sing, and then we would add tracks to that. To that, that we went in and recorded live as a band, uh, um, and then we took those uh, those tracks and we added uh, instruments to them as well. So the left, you know, we've recorded any number of different ways over the years, you know, as you do uh, um, when you've made. You know, 10, 11 records, and discovered that we were not, uh, you know, there's no right or wrong way, there's just ultimately uh, you want to serve the song the best you can. And, uh, that would be, uh, that would be one element of the record. Record The other part of the record that, uh, because we've been a band for 20 years and because we did a retrospective record three years ago, uh, we, uh, we were trying to incorporate and celebrate the community that we've been a part of for 20 years. So we uh, we recorded songs uh, from friends of ours uh, and 
uh, and colleagues and, uh, and used a number of people on the recording in that way. So that would be the, those are the two, two things that I want to mention okay. for Northern Shore. And so the recording process has maybe changed from album to album, but has the songwriting process changed at all for you, John? Uh, well, again, you know, you, you want to keep evolving and growing. And uh, I know, I mean, Andy and I wrote a bunch of tunes uh, on this record. We, we, uh, we recorded some songs from a number of different friends of ours. Uh, Peter Cash, who was in the band for about 10 years, uh, and he sang, Pete sang on the, the recording. Andy and I wrote some tunes together. We did a, a couple of songs from a, uh, another friend, Peter's brother, Andrew Cash, who's now uh, an MP and member of Parliament uh, and, uh, and a great songwriter. And we've done a number of his songs over the years. And Charlie Angus, another friend. Uh, um, you know, so we just, it was very song driven and very, uh, um, again, community driven. Songs that we've been attached to and done over the years, we wanted to represent on this recording. Mm -hmm. And finally, a lot of bands sort of get tired of playing their their big hit, and I think it would be fair to say that your your guys' hit is uh, "I Will Give You Everything." Mm -hmm. Do you guys get ever ever get tired of playing that song? Never, absolutely not. Etc. Okay, you know it, it's uh, probably the the uh, the one thing that that I think we've come to appreciate is that. Uh, as we all do, we, you know, at different points in time in our life, certain songs represent things and moments and memories and friends. And, uh, uh, and we've been lucky enough to have a song that has resonated with however n number of people it does. And that's a real honor and, and something you need to uh, embrace. And, and uh, how could we not do that? I mean, we always. In, in our minds, we are always trying to uh, write songs that would, uh, that would, uh, if we recorded them 20 years ago, if we recorded them 20 years from now, they would be, they'd have a timeless quality that we wouldn't feel like they were dated. So uh, from that point of view, that song and many others, most others, that was sort of the one uh, test when, before we would record them, that would be something that we'd have to feel good about uh, before putting it on there. The, the answer is no. We don't get tired of saying it. It's it's a uh, it's a great song and it's made us lots of friends and uh, and taken us lots of places. So I'm grateful for that. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Everett. Nice to meet you.